And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. And good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're live at Day at the Docks, big event here at the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. We're right across from the gigantic Captain Rollo Kids at Sea, Friends of Rollo, a giant used tackle sail booth and spin the wheel booth uh, right next to Fisherman's Landing, right in front of Fisherman's Landing, actually, in the parking lot side. And uh, we're going to have a whole host of guests for you, but stay tuned. Great show here live day at the docks southern california sport fishing voices let's talk hook up on the mightier 1090 espn radio and the let's talk hook up app Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catine, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have Fishdope.com, you're not part of the in-the-know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. San Diego, if there's one thing we like, it's choices. And with a Ford F-150, you have a range of pickups for any job. With great offers on a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains, get your ideal combination of power and capability. Whether that job is getting heavy things where you need them to go, getting things done, or going from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. Tough this smart and capable can only be called F-150. Get ready and go get your own. Visit your local San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. There are moments that change our perception of what is and is impossible. Cosmic shifts where the stars align with the earth to alter how we see the world. The release of King Tide is one of those moments. This is the crowning achievement of Costa's 40-year legacy on the water. The culmination of every innovation and lessons learned up until this point. Wins and losses and highs and lows have brought us here to stand witness to a legacy brought to life. To achieve the ultimate potential on the water. Costa King Tide. Rule the water. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, who ordered this day today yeah, for Day at the Docks, beautiful. man? A little chilly for setup, but uh, ah. we have uh, AFCO jackets on, so we're good. <laughs> this is going to be a good day, It's going to be a beautiful yeah, day. No Bright doubt. sunshine here in Southern California, uh, finally, and hopefully it'll last for a long time, and no wind, and... Fighting fish. That's what we're hoping for. That's right it, now. baby. That's, that's gonna, what we're looking that's gonna for. That's going to happen for sure, for sure. And uh, we're live here at Day of the Docks. What a great event uh, here at the, right in the parking lot of the San Diego Sport Fishing Landings. All the landings participates uh, participate. You can go, get down on the docks. There's a bunch of be, due to the weather here in the last week or so a lot of the boats are tied to the dock yeah. which is a which is a bad thing but it's a good thing for you if you're coming today at the docks because you're going to be able to jump aboard a lot of the boats yeah i mean there's definitely more than normal and you, you nailed it with the a lot of those guys are ready and everybody we talked about it yesterday everybody you know, was really grinding hard and getting all the maintenance done for anticipating early fish and early right. fish certainly happen but you're right this funky weather over the weekend tied everybody up so yeah, yeah it's it, there's a lot of boats out right now or a yeah. lot of boats in right now yeah. 
Yeah, the actual event starts at uh, nine o'clock, uh, but we're, it starts right now, as far right. as we're concerned. Uh, what time is uh, Fisherman's Landing Tackle going to open? We, we do the same thing that we do for Tackle Days. It's going to open as soon as it's all done and ready. You know, the inside uh, the inside booth, the sales are already happening right now, so everything that's inside the store is already all full day at the docks. All With the sales, sales, all the two for ones, all the all the free goods, the discount on reels, the free line, the yeah. floral carbon buy two get one. All that's all that's on sale right now. Wow, it's all going. It's right now. So come on down to Day at the Docks right now and uh, get ahead of the game. And also the line has already started at the Captain Rollo Kids at Sea Huge yeah, Tackle right? Sale. Look at the guys are standing there ready. There we go. I was. Uh, per- I don't know. If you got a chance to peruse through there, but uh, there are some pretty incredible deals in there. I mean, they have tables and tables of rods, stacks and stacks of reels. I mean, it's it's impressive. They had a giant U-Haul truck full yesterday, just of gear, not the supplies, not the booth construction stuff, yeah. nothing. I mean, just just the just the gear, full full U-Haul yesterday. There is so much stuff at the at the Rollo sale. This and they're year. not taking any out of it with them. And we're going to hear from Mike Lum here shortly uh, about that. So it's got to go. That's so it. So if you see something you like, you don't like the price, talk to them about it a little bit. You know, maybe a little, little negotiating. Maybe never know. We we'll see. Never especially hurts. toward the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick Carr from Gamakatsu's here. Good morning, Rick. What's up, Rick? Good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, great. Great to have you. And uh, uh, you have some special deals with Gamakatsu, don't you? Well, we do. Um, the landing, Doug and, and Ricky were nice enough to do a buy two get one free on our hooks. So wow. what they're going to do is if they go in and they buy a couple packs of hooks, they're going to get a free one from them and then come to our booth and we'll give them a little hook box, a G3200. It's a great hook box. That's a great hook box. I was going to say, don't minimize that box. It's a really nice uh, box. It's, it's a great box. Yeah, it's the best hook box it, I've ever it, used. It, it exactly. Really it's got a way better latch system than a lot of the you sure. know kind of cheapy insert boxes tend to have. It doesn't break your thumb. No, it's really nice. <laughs> right. We also have in the booth, we have some of the new uh, Nano Alpha coating oh, hooks that are okay. coming out. Uh, it's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, four times the corrosion resistance for salt yeah. water. So um, we'll have a few of those samples so people can look at those. Uh, there are not that many out there for sale right now because it's uh, mostly fresh water that was introduced, but there's some salt water stuff coming too. So. Yeah, especially that octopus hook. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's going to be nano alpha. We talked a little bit about that. Don't say anything, but I, I snuck a, a Ted snuck me a couple of packs of uh, oh. offset worm books for our El Salto trip. Later oh, this week, there you so, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll be that'll be a good thing. So a- any hook that's available at Fisherman's Landing, buy two, you get one free. Right. Yeah, whether wow. it's Nautilus live bait, Nautilus HD rings, non rings, pro packs, pocket packs, whatever you want. and mix and match is fine too. It's not like you have to buy two two O's and okay. get a two O free. Whatever. If you want a pack of octopus hooks, you want a pack of you know number one n- Nautilus and then a big pack of J hooks. That's fine. Whatever. You buy yeah. two of anything, you get one free. Yeah, that's right. When do you see the uh, Nano Alpha hooks becoming available? Well, as what they're going to do is actually replace hooks with uh, with this new coating. So our, our black nickel and salt water probably will go away as inventory gets down. Then they'll start bringing in their I see. The, the other bringing stuff. In. Yeah, they're they're trying to keep uh, it a, a totally a, a different skew only because uh, as older inventory goes away, that stuff will uh, take over. Right? Yeah. So it's right. a, it's a different model number, but it's really close. But so so are you saying that you can buy two packs of hooks? Yeah. Get a free one and get a box yes. for free. Yes, that's exactly Come on. right. Right? <laughs> really? Yeah, it's awesome. That, that box is worth like 12, 14 bucks, bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah bucks. 12 bucks, yeah. Yeah. It's a smaller box, but it's a, but it's it's a great no, it's size. A great, yeah, totally. It's a perfect hook size. Yeah, it's a perfect yeah, hook yeah, size. Yeah, so um, that's like a tremendous deal. Yeah. And then you're going to be showing off uh, different, uh, you know, one thing that was tough to get last year were those uh, smaller size Nautilus. So, uh, how you stocked up? Well, we're better now. We're better yeah. now. Well, uh, we had a really hard time getting them for a while, but now I think they're they're in good inventory state most places. Yeah. As, as long as as long as guys keep them on back order, they're going to get in as they come in. So, uh, right. but but the smaller hooks are they're shipping again. So they're oh, that's in good. good. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And you guys have them, Rick? We do. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. go grab them. Uh, the number four size, a number two size, and uh, yeah, lots lots of, lots of good stuff for sure. Um, but uh, but it great it great to have you and uh, super to have uh, Rick Carr. You're going to be in the booth all day, right? All day. Yeah. Sharing the wall with our outside Fisherman's Landing booth. Yeah. Our so next literally, door, our right next door next, neighbor. 
right there. Right between so, right between Okuma and Fisherman's Landing, right? So you can buy the hooks inside Rick or is it Right, yeah, we have every you buy the hooks, start, you'll get your our, free one right there. Our normal our normal hook display and like we said there's no limitations to it. Everything is on sale. There's mix and match on anything. Everything's buy two, get one free. You buy your two, you get your third pack free, you walk out, see Rick, and he's gonna give you a free box. All right. And that kill and it's that's, he's right out the door. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a killer deal. And 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 is that deal available not until nine o'clock? Or can you do it right? You can do now? it right this second. Can, can they come to get the free box right now? Yes, they can. Okay, better get on it then. <laughs> All right. Well, and that, and I might add too, while supplies last. Exactly. Exactly. Good call. So get on it, right? Because yeah. you don't have unlimited numbers of boxes, free boxes. And if they want to sign call, up, Pete. and if they want to sign up for our newsletter, I've got a little bottle opener with the Gamagatsu logo on it, and um, sweet, a, a little carry bag that they can pick up people's you know literature and that yeah. kind of stuff. Open up your that. Pacifico with the Gamagatsu. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Talking. Perfect. Thanks, Rick, for joining us here. I know you got to get back to work there, so appreciate you joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Mike Lum is here. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, you've been here since the dark, setting this giant booth up, huh? Yeah. Up here, we, got, let's... we got a lot of help, thank goodness. The you know, dark of yesterday. The dark <laughs> of yesterday, yeah. Oh, they all kind of run together right <laughs> yeah, at this point. Yeah. And uh, is this the uh, biggest sale ever? Well, you know, last year we had a ton. Yeah. And I think we have a ton this year. But yeah, I think maybe the quality is a little better this year. Just oh, glancing. You know, okay. I haven't, I've been kind of paying attention to the wheel and not uh, looking too much, but it uh, looks like some great, great stuff over there. I just want to thank everybody uh, out there that has donated over the last year. The uh, contributions have been so generous, and uh, we encourage anybody that has tackle to uh, please, if you uh, want to get, discard your tackle, uh, consider giving it to us. We're going to sell it off. We're going to make money. We're going to take more kids on their first ocean fishing trip. And uh, this used tackle sale started out here many years ago, and it was just literally just a, I don't know, may, maybe a three by three foot area of used rods. That was about all we had, and now it's grown into this massive used tackle sale. And it's all because people keep giving us the stuff, and and Fisherman's Landing, and and Dana Landing, and Turner's, and uh, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, uh, all year long collect tackle for us, and then we we uh, pool it together and bring it here, and everybody comes out and buys it. It's kind of an exciting win-win deal. I can only see a couple of the tables, but right now from where I'm sitting, I can see one of the real tables, and it is there is a lot of two-speed. There's a lot of gold. There's a lot of star drag. There's reels and boxes. I mean, there is a lot, a lot of gear this yeah. year. There is a lot you know, of you gear. Know, it's funny, Rick. Uh, about I'm mean, gonna just guess seven, eight years ago when this thing really started getting bigger and bigger, there were days when we'd have 50, 60, 70 jig masters <laughs> on that table, and that's all transitioned away now, yeah. right? We still see a few of them, but not like it was when everybody was switching over to the more modern tackle. Hey, look who's here to help out. The president of Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, uh, Harold Davis. Come over here, He's Harold. Got the perfect sit, armrest sit, leading yeah. on a box. We're going to put him. Like. To, to put him to work there. Come on, sit down and uh, join <laughs> us here. And uh, he's all the way down from his uh, little hideaway up there in Morro Bay. And uh, welcome to uh, the real world here. In the, <laughs> the real, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a real world. How long did it take it? you to get here from Morro Bay yesterday? I left at eight in the morning. Got here almost at five. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got to pass about 35 million of my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. we, got, we got under one overpass. I saw three families of pigeons raised yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was now, what do you think of your crew here doing this uh, th this thing here? Right? Is that amazing? We've That's been here since, since like 5.30 setting this thing up, and they're yeah. still setting up. Yeah, it's still, it, it's and there's a line foreman to get to get down here and get, it, get ready to get some great deals in there. Uh, mostly saltwater stuff, Mike? Yeah, I would say mostly salt water. Yeah, but the Tommy P's already got his eyes on some some freshwater stuff. Yeah, there, there is too. there is some freshwater in there. There's some lures, some rods, uh, a few There's reels, fly uh, reels. Yeah, there fly are some reels. fly reels. Yeah, yeah. So, little yeah, little bit of everything for everybody. And uh, like I heard you say earlier we don't plan on taking anything home with us, and we usually don't yeah. take much. But so uh, what's that mean? So toward the end of the day, if it's still sitting there and it says fifty bucks, are you going to kind of make a deal? You know, Howard is the guy in charge of that and it just depends because we have to also remember we, we are going to do this again next year. Yes. So there's no reason to just flat give something away but right. the prices are already low. They're pretty low. And so yeah he'll have a little wiggle room there but I, I wouldn't you know I, I wouldn't encourage someone
someone to wait okay. to the last. Yeah, uh, they're Don't made wait. Of, yeah, the stuff. It, the likely it's going to be gone well, anyway. Here's one thing that I can say too, because I talked to Howard about it quite a bit. Like it is priced to sell. Like this, this, you know, I, I don't think there's going to be very often that you're going to find a price where you're even going to think twice about it. They priced everything very right, yeah. very aggressive. Like it's, yeah. it's not designed to get every last potential penny out of it. It's hey, we got a great reel. You're getting hooked up on a great deal. The money that you spend is going to take kids fishing. Let's everybody be stoked. Well, I, I will tell you, Rick, that there every year we do this. I see at least three or four regular people who sell used fishing tackle, and they're in here buying a You're lot. Ex- exactly. So that'll yeah. give you some idea how we have it priced. Yeah, for sure. So um, last week you said if you have something to donate, bring it. Absolutely. We'll yeah. be happy to take it off your hands right here. And someone uh, text, uh, I guess it was a Facebook, messaged me last night and said they had stuff they wanted to bring down. And, and I encouraged them to just come down and park as close to or just drive. They don't have to park as close to uh, yeah. this end of the show and, and give us a call. We'll run out yeah. and get it from them. That's but, so rad. Uh, and if it's something early, we, we'll price it and sell it today. But if not, uh, like I said, we are we do this year round. Yeah. So we're used to hanging on to things for a while. And I want to stress, too, how easy it is to drop something off. You don't need to make a big appointment. It's not a thing. You can show up to Fisherman's Landing completely unannounced and walk through the door and say, I've got a donation for Rollo, and we'll take care of everything else. Yeah, and we really appreciate, Rick, you guys doing that because there's a lot of uh, a lot of other tackle stores that are a little more small-minded, and they're afraid that bringing in used tackle into their store for, for charity somehow disrupts their business. And so we appreciate what you guys do, and the customers love it, too. And I'm sure when they come down to drop stuff off, many of them end up Dude, buying it's a, more stuff from you. So. It's like a running joke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so you also get a, a tax deduction if you choose, right? Tim will send you an email with a with yeah, a, yeah. He gets a five hundred one c. You'll get a receipt. It is a five hundred one c three nonprofit organization, and some people, depending on how your your tax accountant handles your taxes, it's all tax deductible. If uh, if it makes sense for you to do that, we'll be happy to give you the receipts. And it's funny how many people that give us very large donations don't really care about it. I, I, so. I bet we 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 offer it to anybody, of course. You know, it's no problem. And I would say a true ninety percent of people are like, now nah, to be honest with you, I'm stoked that it's taking kids fishing, but I'm just as stoked that it's taking the space out of my garage. You know, See you I, later. I, I'll mention this now that that you know we're we're facing a little bit of a dilemma in that the prices as for all of us on everything in our lives has gone up so rapidly. Oh yeah. Uh, the cost of putting children on these boats has gone up as well. You know, we used to be able to get boats at lower prices during the shoulder season, let's say, right? During the during right. the fall, during the spring. Well, those boats don't have, they're not sitting at the yeah. dock like they used no, to. No such thing as downtime anymore. Right. And so th- there's there's just no way we're going to get as good a deal on these boats. So here's the bottom line. Uh, five years ago when we were doing this uh, and talking about it here, we were paying $35 average per kid, per all year long, all the kids, 35 bucks, and now we're at 70 Wow. wow. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. Double the price. Double the price. And so we obviously have been adding more and more to our fundraising efforts, but we haven't doubled our fundraising, no. uh, which, you know, we're, we're happy that we've grown at all. But we're at that point where we've got to start figuring out how do we avoid taking fewer kids? We ha- already have more kids asking than we have funds to take them, right? We try very hard not to turn anybody down, and uh, and, and we do a pretty good job of that. But we're going to get to a point here at some some not-too-distant future that if we don't find a way to increase our, our revenue coming in, we are going to have to limit the amount of kids we take, and we, we simply don't want to do that because we feel that if, if the kid has an opportunity to go this year because he's a member of something or he belongs to something, that opportunity may not exist a year from now. So wow. it's not like if he doesn't get to go this year, they'll get to go next year. Well, it may not be the truth. Right. You know, you guys know that just a, a month or so ago I was I was asked to go back and testify to Congress on a on on a bill that is pending uh, with the with the um United States government, where Congress is trying to get a couple million dollar a year grant to coastal fishing programs for kids. And, I mean, in the past, we've talked about that. I was like, boy, that would sure be nice. Now it's like that's the difference between taking all the kids that we can get and taking what we can Just afford. Few, yeah. It would make all the difference in the world. And so uh, I was able to go back and talk with, with the members of Congress about that. They're very receptive. That's so cool. And I think there's a possibility that at some point here it'll, it'll get done. I'm sure this particular 
five or years, probably not ideal with the presidential election and all that, but but it's it's still alive, and the, the sponsors of it uh, feel very strongly about it, so I'm encouraged. I, th- I think we're going to get something done at some point. So. Wow, that's great. So the used tackle sale is not the only thing going on today at the Rollo booth. No, no, it, it is, uh, it's the one that people talk about a lot because it only happens once a year, but we also have our spin to win wheel and uh, and our superstar uh, volunteers, uh, Barry, Tony G, the guys that are typically at the wheel, they're here ready to go. We've got a wonderful selection of prizes, and the way it works is um, you come down and you buy two of our annual raffle tickets, and uh, those are $10 a piece. You buy two of those raffle tickets, you're going to be entered into those 30 prizes that total over 30 grand. We're going to give that away uh, about 4 o'clock today. Wow. Just that's happens so to be right. today. So, so if you've purchased uh, raffle tickets here uh, buy, or in the last, what, eight months it's been going on? Seven yeah, months? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. So six, six or seven months. So, yeah. All the promotions we've done on Let's it's Talk. It's all going to end today. Yes, we're going to give all those prizes away this afternoon. But during today, today, if you want a last chance to get into that, um, you buy two tickets. It costs you $20. You spend the wheel for free. Anything you win on the wheel, of course, um, you, you know, there's some great prizes. Like there, what? Well, we've got we've got some rods that are worth over a couple hundred bucks. We've got a couple rinse-off units that are a couple hundred bucks. You know, we've got reels. We've got tackle boxes. We have a lot of different things. We've got fillet knives, folding knives, a variety of lures, folding chairs, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. And right. every like spin of the wheel wins something. And uh, and everybody has kind of so grown grown up. Up with the wheel now. We've been right. doing it for years. So for and 20, it just keeps getting so better. So twenty bucks gets you gets you two two tickets into the raffle that's going to happen this afternoon for thirty thousand dollars in prizes. Correct. Plus you get a spin and to win another great prize. Exactly right. Wow. So the, we're, what we're saying is buy two raffle tickets and you're going to spin the wheel for free. And that's yeah. exactly. If you want to buy five raffle t- or six raffle tickets, you spin the wheel three times. Wow. This is awesome. So this is pretty good. It's yeah. a it's a pretty pretty uh, easy thing to to invest your money. In to make the donation, all of this money goes to taking more kids fishing. Yeah. It's just different things we come up with to make it interesting and exciting and give Tony G something to talk about. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Tony G is, a, you should mention Tony G and Tim Baker and some of the guys behind the scenes, Howard Coolidge. Um, these are the guys that really kind of help you out and make it happen, right? Oh, absolutely. We we simply could not do this. This program would not exist if it weren't for these guys willing yeah. to take Look their at all time the volunteers this. in there. Yeah. We have a lot of people yeah. here today that have come. Some of them a long way is to be here to help For us. Sure. And, uh, and they do it all year long, many, many events, yep. and uh, it's it's really the same group of guys, and uh, we, we appreciate them. We couldn't do it without them. The kids wouldn't go, not as many kids would go fishing yep, if exactly. it weren't for those guys. So. No question about it. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. A lot to talk about here live at Day at the Docks. This is one of my favorite shows. It's fun. It's a great atmosphere. Day at the Docks is a celebration about sport fishing, and just like we got to hear from Rick and Mike and Harold already, the funnest part about today is all the different cast of characters. There's no set guests coming into today, but everyone yeah. is here in look, the sport fishing industry. Look who's industry. around. Like, Art Taylor and Celia Taylor from the Searcher there. We have the we have the, uh, yeah, no, you know Lawrence gosh, is, Lawrence up is with there. Fish oh, works Fishworks. And, yeah. yeah, there's all kinds Iowa of Iowa people and uh, I saw Benny from Accurate and yeah, uh, Sea line guys. Seeker. I mean, they're all here. Everybody's sure. here. It's going to hey, be a, Bobby. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to be a great show. Lots of fun and so much fun stuff to talk about. If you want to join us, man, we would love to hear from you. The best way to do it is come down and join us. Come down, hang out, step up to the microphone, ask a question, and we are giving away a couple of killer prizes today. Uh, first of which is a $50 gift certificate to, if you're coming down here, how are you not going to Point Loma Seafood? Yeah. So one lucky person that steps up to the microphone. If you want a good be, food, you go to Point Loma Seafood. Well, here, yeah. damn right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how do you not come all the way down to the docks and not go get a squid sandwich at Point Loma Seafoods? So we're giving away one $50 gift certificate to one person who steps up to the microphone today. $50 to Point Loma Seafoods, the freshest thing in town. And then we're giving away a second prize. And how about this? One person who steps up to the mic is going to potentially win a brand new pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Right. What a killer prize that is. So, again, giving away 50 bucks to Point Loma Seafoods, a brand new pair of Costas. If you want to join us this morning, give us a call at 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090 is how you reach us on the phones. As always, text line is open. Lots of great texts already coming through. Sending a text message is only available through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download, and it's the only 
only way to send your questions in to Let's Talk Hookup. We're giving away a couple of great prizes, having a lot of fun, talking to a lot of great buds. And when we come back, we're going to be taking those phone calls, reading those stand-up questions, and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hey everyone, James Holst here with Norse Lithium, the official battery partner of Let's Talk Hookup. Here at Norse Lithium, we have two goals that drive who we are and what we do. The first is to make the highest quality, longest lasting lithium batteries available with a complete lineup of batteries that include 12, 24, 36 volt and starting batteries. Second, in addition to offering a 10 year warranty on all Norse Lithium Marine batteries, we provide amazing customer service before and after the sale. Check us out online at norsklithium.com that's n-o-r-s-k lithium.com or call us at 831-232-9063 or to see Norse Lithium batteries in person stop by the Trolling Motor Doctor in Lakewood or Anglers Marine in Anaheim and see why Norse Lithium batteries should be in your boat no matter where the adventure takes you we've got you powered Norse Lithium Hi, this is Pete, and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new 14-week fishing event from CCA California. It's the Star Tournament starting Memorial Day weekend and continuing through Labor Day. You could win one of 10 grand prizes, including a new special edition 18-foot center console Parker boat, powered by a 150 Yamaha outboard. It includes a trailer, and it's all thanks to West Coast Marine Service and Costa Mesa. There's also a chance to win cool weekly prizes throughout the summer. All you do is catch a qualifying fish and then enter to win through the Fishing Chaos app. From bass to bluefin, you can enter up to two qualifying fish per category per day. Just as importantly, the Star Tournament supports CCA California and the fight for your right to fish. To sign up and check out the Star rules, visit ccacalifornia.org. It's only $40 to enter for CCA California members. Don't miss out on the Summer of the Star. Day at the Docks is back, and Fisherman's Landing Tackle will have our largest booth ever. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Both in the shop and out in the parking lot, we will feature our huge inventory of rods, reels, lures, clothing, and more, all on sale. The fishing season is here, so take advantage of our inventory and sale prices while you can. Plus, our expert staff at Fisherman's Landing Tackle will help you get all the right stuff. Day at the Docks and Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Take advantage of our great deals Sunday, April 7th. Here's the hot tip on the best fishing L.A. has to offer, 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. They are home to L.A.'s finest open party fleet, including overnight on the Freedom, Catalina Freelance on the Pursuit, half-day trips on the Monte Carlo, and three-quarter day trips on the Sea Angler. For your own private charter, we have the Outrider and True Line available. There's always plenty of free parking and a fully stocked tackle store. 22nd Street Landing Sport Fishing in San Pedro. Call 310-832-8304 or on the web at 22ndstreet.com. Let's talk hookup, man. What a day. Day at the Docks is happening right now. Setup's going strong. Lots yeah. of deals to be had. It's it's on, Pete. Mike Lump's hanging the uh, prizes for the spin the wind uh, wheel there. And uh, Harold Davis is uh, still with us here. And uh, Harold, we haven't had you on the show in a long time. And uh, here comes Doug Kern. Look at that. You see, that's one of the advantages of uh, having things here. So, Harold, <laughs> what's uh, Moro Bay is your residence, and that's kind of where you're hanging out a lot up there. Uh, some new fishing regulations and things happening up there, right? Yeah, we got a lot of regulations nobody understands. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's a good point. So we don't know whether we're supposed to start April 1st or May 1st, and, and it's so confusing that actually guys just went out April 1st, and the game wardens are so confused they haven't showed they up. They don't even know. No, they just, <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a fact. Yeah. You know, it's posted, but it's not posted. You know, yeah. right? it's, Who knows? So so the, the Rotfix regulations are different where you are than they are are here? No, they put us in the group with you guys, so now, okay. now we're down to two reds, just like you guys okay. are down to two reds, except you start earlier, and we start whenever they figure it out. Yeah. Uh, no salmon this year. That's been... No salmon. That's a confirmed That's thing. a confirmed yeah. deal. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So it's the honeymoon's over on that one. Yeah. Um, which is probably... But the stock's getting better. That's a lot. Yeah. That's what they say. I mean, they're dropping them out of trucks, and they're washing them under yeah, dams. And like, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's kind of like our anti-salmon uh, group is working yeah. on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's it'll it'll work its way through. The thing that just kills us all the time, it kills you here and us up there, is the state has the responsibility for the health and vitality of the resource. 
and they're not studying it. Right. I mean, when was the last time there was a red, uh, a, right. a, a Vermilion stock assessment made that showed the health and vitality? So on an act of precaution, they lowered the limit. Yeah. Not we're catching them. Geez, there must be a bunch of them. And so it's 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 pretty. It's pretty confusing and it's pretty upsetting for people that are actually on the water because it seems to me that the ones that are making decisions are not the ones that are on the water. Yeah. I mean, we go out there. It was like the Picaccio thing. You can't catch any Picaccio. You can't keep them off your line. Yeah, you can't yeah. not catch one. If, if you would have brought a canary rockfish in four, four or five years ago, you'd still be in the pen. You know, they'd have you in, in prison. Now, right. you can go, now you can go catch ten. I mean, there's supposed to be 50 years for that for that to rebuild. And it just miraculously, in five years, we have more fish than we know what to do with. So I'm not so sure that, that their sampling is, is correct. Because on terrestrial animals, we can look up and we can say, we see them, we see them, we see them. Oh, they've moved off this mountain, they're down in the valley. But when they're in the ocean, are they on top of the mound or are they in the valley? Right. And so if they're assessing the same area all the time, and the currents change and the temperature changes, those fish move. They got tails. And and that's the biggest issue I think that we really face here is they're not really you want to talk about climate change, when's the last time you saw an albacore? Yeah. So in on the central coast where you are, um, you have no salmon this year. No salmon. Limited on rockfish. What do you fish for? That's a pretty good question. <laughs> That's a real good question. But something that, that has been happening now is the uh, the white sea bass have been doing pretty well up there. Okay. And halibut have been halibut. doing pretty well. Up. Yeah. And so that, now there's a new kit. I have some in my car that was given to me by the institute there where we don't keep the heads of the white sea bass anymore. All you do is clip the fin and put it in a little vial. They give you an envelope. It comes with a pair of scissors. It comes with a, a pencil. And you put five vials in this little envelope and you mail it back. Don't have to refrigerate it. Don't have That's to. That's do, cool. And it's all the DNA test. Wow. So they're going to find out those million and a half animals that have been released really are making an impact. Really are making an impact up, up and down yeah. the coast. Yeah. That's great. That the hatchery has been producing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Hey, if you want to join us uh, here at the show, uh, see Gary or Tommy. They'll uh, take a card for you, and you step up to the mic. You win a pair of Costa sunglasses, and or or there's two prizes today for the step up to the mic: a pair of Costa sunglasses, and also a um, $50 gift certificate to go down and have lunch down at Point Loma Seafoods right here at the San Diego Landings, right uh, among the whole group here at Day at the Docks. And uh, Harold, thanks for hanging hanging around with us for a little while longer here. And uh, absolutely, yeah, Doug Kern. Good morning. Good morning. This is a an incredible day down yeah. here. I don't know how it happens every year. <laughs> Forty yeah. some years, it never rained a day at the docks, and here we have like a bluebird, sunny, gorgeous day. And, and two days ago, it was, it was uh, pouring down, pouring it was hailing rain. even. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cold, freezing, yeah. windy, rainy, and now it's exact opposite of that. Yeah. So. so you have a big deal going on here. We already talked about buy two get one free on Gamakatsu hooks plus that free box. Uh, yeah. What else is a, a deal? Well, you know, I've heard uh, Rick talking about a few of the specials, um, and one I don't know if he's had a chance to mention, um, but uh, anybody that knows what a CUI blank might be, it's uh, something that uh, Taddy distributed a few years back. They're, they're almost impossible to come by, and we came up with a, a whole bunch of them. It's a surface iron jig stick, and uh, if you've seen our Instagram, and Vince has one completely bent, he's making a cast. Um, these are some of the best jig sticks for throwing surface iron, and uh, guys have been paying four to six hundred dollars on the the used market if and when they can find them. Well, we came wow. up on a bunch of them, and we've got them for one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Come on! <laughs> wow! So um, th- that's um, that's probably one of the sleeper deals that we Is that have. Inside or outside? Both. There are going to yeah. be some garage collecting oh guys God. that are so bummed because if you had one of those things that wasn't wrapped up, that was like kind of the going market. There's a guy that works in the rental room. That literally, like, a couple months before we got these, paid $600 for a blank because yeah. they're so sought after and so Holy hard to mackerel. get. And uh, now they're on sale brand new, $139.95, no problem. $139.95. Yeah. Yep. So wow. that's that's a huge one. And 
then, you know, everybody's pretty familiar with our, our in-store sales. I mean, buy two, get one free on all fluorocarbon, all hooks, all jigs. You know, buy it at the buy regular price. Buy two, get price. one free on all fluorocarbon, all hooks, and all jigs. Yes, as long as you buy it at the regular price because we do have certain items that are priced below that special. And so, you you know, you can still take the buy two, get one free, but you're better off taking the sale price on some of this stuff. And what about uh, what about close to sunglasses? Are they yep. buy two, get one um, free? Y- yeah. <laughs> Bob, Bob's, I heard Bob's giving them away, right? No, it's, um, it's a very similar special. It's buy two, get none free. <laughs> but you get a $25 gift card for purchase in the store, and if you use that gift card what? to buy something on totally. sale, you turn that into more like, you know, 40 bucks. So, um, you know, it's uh, we only do that uh, at, at the PCS and Tackle Day and Day at the Docks. That's the only time that we do that special. So. Is that true, Bob? That's not all. After they buy their Costas, have fishermen's landing tackle, they come over to the Costa van, which is right behind Captain Rollis to the left, and they get a Costa dry bag with the Wow, nice. that's, that's insane. insane. No way. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's the yeah. freebie? This is a freebie with gift wow. a purchase of Costas and a hat. But I and think this hat. bag is going to be perfect for the kayakers. Oh, yeah. You know, put sure. your phone, wallet. Or a skiff bag. Yeah. That's a, no, yeah. that's, um, that's a, that's that's a, a skiff bag. And, and you know what's great about that is it, it's a great travel bag because it folds up really nice. Because I always take a bag like that with me Same. to go uh, carry stuff onto the boat, yeah. like going to Kingfisher Charters or exactly. Queen Charlotte, carry stuff down. But that pa- that's going to pass really well. Yeah, nobody, really $50 dry bag. nobody on the radio can see this, but it's a legit nice dry bag, royal blue with the stripe down the middle that's with the cool. Costa logo, yeah. and then it top rolls down so it's 100 percent dry. That's awesome, Bob. I'm shocked that that's the free good. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. And then for two callers or texts, however you want to do it, they're going to win uh, two free pairs of Costas, oh. and they get the dry bag. bag. Wow. So yeah. Okay, so we we doubled the thing. So now for the step up of the mic. We guys, doubled up Vegas yeah. style. <laughs> we're going <laughs> two Costas and the dry bag. Yeah. And uh, we got two gifts, Costas, dry bag, hat for, for your callers. Wow. And then anyone that wow. buys through the, the store comes the over to the van people. and gets the dry bag and a hat. That's and awesome. Hat. So okay. Thank Five dollar gift card from us. Yeah, yeah. So you get if you buy a pair of coasters uh, from either you over at the van or in the store. In, in the store, purchase in the store. In the store. Purchase yeah. in the store. Um, and so you're getting a hundred bucks worth of free goods. You yeah, get, you legit. get the glasses, the best glasses uh, for fishing, and then you get the dry bag and you get the twenty five dollar gift card <laughs> of Fisherman's Landing Tower. I think it's funny. I'm looking down the table here with everybody sitting here, and it's all coaster glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That tells you something. Yeah, right. Yeah. And the sun's out. So you'll be able to see the different lens colors. Yep. You know? Yeah, today's a really good day yeah. for trying them on. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a huge display, actually two huge displays of them in the tackle store. So there's lots of different frames, and there we kind of have like lifestyle glasses, you know, the kind of square frame um, that still has you know the high end polarized fishing glass in them. They're all Costa 580s, and then uh, in one case, then in the other case we have all the hardcore fishing glasses, wrap arounds, round lenses, square lenses, whatever it might be, and you can literally try them on. To Take two steps and be outside, look in the water, see the difference. You can compare what a blue mirror and a green mirror and a gray lens all do for you today. Very, yeah, that's cool. That's great. Well, great, Bob. And you guys will be over in the in, in the Costa. Or right, right for there. the van, right? The yep. blue van. Blue van. And, and uh, uh, Yeah, and, this and, is going to be and, fun. And do you have the guys from Sport RX there today? No, but okay. uh, we have their business cards. Anyone that needs prescription, I'll give them a, a business card for Sport RX, and yeah. they can drive over there. Let me tell you, we, I've been dealing with Sport RX and Lolly got a couple pairs of glasses from Sport RX. That is a fantastic company. Yeah, they do such a great job yeah. on prescription. They did a prescription dive mask for me. Oh wow! And uh, and cool. they do like That's if you're a cool. skier or a snowboarder, they do prescription goggles. Uh, they do pretty much anything you want wow. to customize your glasses. We're getting old, Pete. I had a call yesterday <laughs> from uh, uh, Captain Steve Lasley, and he's like, "I'm going to the dark side. I need prescription." I'm like, no. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he held on until the yeah. end. He finally was like, ah, I can't see have. anymore. Can't so you sent him there. Yeah. But, uh, but you guys, uh, Eddie and yourself, uh, will be yeah, there? Yeah, we're yeah. just setting up, having some breakfast burritos. And uh, I was just in the store. It's mind-boggling how much. I'm going to walk out of here. The bank's going to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it, like you guys were saying, 
this is the day to, to gear up for the season. Yeah. I mean, this is the last two raw. Take advantage yep. of it. It is. Uh, lots of seminars going on. You can tour the boats, walk the stores. There, and all the way down to uh, H&M, there's really cool booths. Wow. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a big event. Day at the docks. It starts officially at 9 o'clock. But really, there's a lot of people here already. Just come on down. It's a beautiful day yeah. here to come on down and uh, come see us. Uh, but uh, we've got to take a quick pick, but hang out with us guys here. Yeah, straight up, man. We're going to have a great time. Lots more to talk about here live in Day of the Docks. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Gas prices are going up, up, up. So now more than ever, you need Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. Pull up to the newly expanded Summit Gasoline and get low, low gas and diesel prices for your car, truck, and boat. They can now accommodate 24 cars and trucks to fuel at the same time. Plus 12 diesel boats, plus 100 pounds of free ice with a minimum 35 gallon fill up. Easy in and out, too. Step into the Summit Bistro and enjoy what Martha and her crew have for you on things you can use fresh made burritos, sandwiches, salads, along with beer, beverages, and of course, always free ice. So many Let's Talk hookup listeners have taken advantage of Summit Gasoline's low prices, great service, and free ice. They have become the largest seller of fresh gourmet ice in Southern California. Summit also sells frozen and bait and fishing licenses 24 hours a day. Summit Gasoline. Low prices, friendly staff, free ice, and easy in and out with your boat and trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. You know, today would be a great day to buy a rod, reel, or lure from Shimano, right, Doug Kern? It would, and then on top of that, we're going to put free Power Pro line on there. And Come on! We've got Max Quattro, we've got the multicolor for the deep drop fishing, um, and, you know, some of those reels are going to take $150 worth of, of uh, Spectra line. So this is the, the day. There's there's deals on every Shimano product. As we said, lures are buy two, get one free. Wow. And, you know, all the Even current sniper lures. products. Yep. Yep. Wow. And uh, rods and reels and, uh, you know, um, it's the perfect time whether there was a show or not because we're at the leading edge of the season. The bluefin and the sure. yellowtail have already shown up. And uh, everybody knows Shimano is the top reels. And especially for these big fish, you've got to have a top quality two-speed lever drag reel. And Talica and then Speedmaster. My goodness, I mean, Speed guys are catching 200-pounders on those reels. That was supposed to be the entry-level two-speed. Right. And they're catching cows on those. So, so if you wanted to buy a new Speedmaster 20 today for doing deep dropping for uh, yeah. for, for for bluefin tuna, you'll fill it with uh, Power Pro, uh, either the color the ho- or whatever you whatever want. You whatever you want. want. Whatever you want for free. And that's like a, what you said. It's like, I mean, depends on the reel and yeah. how much yardage. But you'll know, well, say 500 yardage. yards of 100 pound. It's, it's over a hundred dollars for yeah. sure. And then you know, there's um, some deals that um, we don't mention. On those products, okay. but there are some so other additional deals. Additional, there you go. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, incentives. So yes. additional reasons so to come down and get yourself a, a new Shimano. Yeah, so that would be a great day to come down and buy yourself a yes, new sir. Shimano rod, reel, or lure yeah. at Fisherman's Land and tackle here at the, at the docks. Absolutely. All right. Safe travel should always include travel insurance. This is Bob Dawson at Dawson and Associates. We offer many different plans, from one-year plans to single-trip plans. Traveling twice or more a year, an annual plan will cover most every trip that you make. Also, if you get injured on a trip, it'll fly you back home or fly you to a hospital of your choice, and it's worldwide coverage once you're 100 miles from home. So call me at 619-990-3068 or go to safariglobaltravel.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook. I'm having a great time here this morning. Day of the Docks getting rolling. Lots of great stuff going on. Beautiful day. It is happening right yeah, now. Really great. And boy, Bob Hoos just upped the ante for the <laughs> yeah, thing. Did. So uh, here's what's, what's going to happen. You step up to the mic. You see uh, either Tommy or Gary, the Iron Man himself, is here. Uh, and uh, sign up for a step up to the mic. You have a chance to win a pair of Costa sunglasses along with the ba- that drive. 
tie bag, and then also a fifty dollar gift certificate to go have lunch or dinner at Point Loma Seafoods. Uh, yes, uh, 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 that's great. And now he's added a second pair of sunglasses from Costa and um, a dry bag, and we're going to give that away to one lucky caller or texter this morning. So join us on the phones if you want two one three four three two ten ninety, or just text the show. Lots of great texts, huh? Yeah, I thought so, man. There's yeah. a, lots of great info going on. Again, if you want to send a text, make sure you include that contact info. Because yep. if you win those coasts at the end of the show, we want to make yeah. sure to get them to you. So, JP, we uh, we uh, definitely uh, uh, are taking taking callers today, so uh, uh, giving prizes away there. So, uh, time to find out what's biting. You got it, man. Nice. Today, I catch report sponsored by our great friends at Norris Lithium Batteries. They're here in Southern California, designed specifically for marine use. Norris Lithium features prismatic cells for extreme durability, solid connection, longevity, and reliability. The Norris Guardian Advanced Battery Management System allows you to monitor the health and charging status by using an app on your phone. Norris also makes a complete line of kayak and electric reel batteries. Make the investment in the best for your boat with Norris Lithium. Check NorrisLithium.com or go see the Trolling Motor Doctor or Angler's Marine who has a booth right on the other side of us with a couple of great boats. I got to see Rick Grover yesterday. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and, and I know uh, Kyle Grover is here today, oh, yeah. uh, man in the booth. So, uh, but you can also check them out at their location in Anaheim or in Lakeside uh, for your Norris lithium batteries. And with that said, we are going to find out what's biting out there. Head on up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley, is on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Sounds like a sounds like a jam down there this morning. It's oh boy, it's cranking, yeah. bro. How can you guys dodge weather for that long, right? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am, ab- am absolutely flabbergasted. They started in 1979. My first year here was 81. And there's been threat of rain. There's been wind. But we have not got dumped on. And, th- like, the first tackle day we ever did, you know, we had a downpour. So, I, I don't know. There's something that about? sacred about this, this yeah. event. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, event planners, pay attention, right? Schedule your event. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, watch the calendar. Well, hey, we had a fun week up here. You know, we did obviously have the weather kind of bookend our week, kind of recovered on Monday for the cod opener. It was a little off as a result of that last weekend's weather. But uh, that rockfish did fish pretty well for us for a few days. Uh, not not super phenomenal as we were kind of hoping, but it was plenty good. You know, it's just good to add another opportunity to the mix. So good reds a couple days. You know, still in that four fish until whatever changes. Just the best thing I can say is just keep checking the reg because at some point it's going to it's going to switch uh mix fish fill the bag too for those guys fishing the sniper style jig double dropper loops uh and whatnot conditions like i said on the beach were a bit funky a day or two wind against current that kind of stuff you know that can be totally nauseating when you're trying to set the boat up over a little batch of hard bottom and whatnot but uh, it was still decent fishing 14 mile bank fished well too for the bigger chilies for his boccaccio uh, half day fishing was not great this week. Cooler water. Uh, we left the harbor yesterday on a half-day trip. It's 56 degrees as a result of that storm. Um, not much wanting to bite as a result of that, but uh, you know you just have to kind of change your approach to, to get the bites. Guys went to smaller bait, lighter line, stuff like that to try and get their bites. Over at Clemente, the Fury, he had a couple good days of fishing, being able to uh, tap into that rockfish there. Some good sign of life near the island in the kelp. A little bit of game fish seen, but not caught. So he's there this morning. Marcus uh, left last night, so I'm sure they're going to have a decent day here with some good weather. So we'll be sure to report back on our social media tonight. Let everyone know what Marcus did today. So we got a new week with new opportunity ahead. I will uh, get you frothing again. The, the boat between Catalina and Data Point yesterday saw the bigger bluefin in the channel yesterday. We're talking oh. triple fish. So no kidding. Big one. 100 pounders, 200 pounders up and putting on a show in the channel. So private oh, boaters. Get out of here. Yeah, so I, that so was a cool, good Willie. boat. I heard it from multiple people that saw it yesterday. So good info. You know, get out there, get your kite ready or whatever. You know, you might have a shot at some of that fish this week with some of this good weather. So Holy you guys want to hop on a trip with us, yeah, give us a call, 949-496-5794. We'll see uh, We'll see out there this week. I'll be on the 14-mile bank tomorrow, so we'll have the gyros up and we might have to bring a 
flyer with us or something and have the kite ready in case we see something out there. But. I, I would say, hey, hey, uh, Brian, you said that uh, they haven't adopted the regs yet, so you guys are still able to keep four until whenever you get, get the, the, the Correct. Sun, right? Yeah, that's correct. Four, so, four reds. Just check the regs every day. If you're going fishing, pull up their website and see what the current regs are and uh, go by that. I'm sure there will be a big press release. Zach will notify all of its boats when everything changes. But, uh, okay. yeah, currently That's good news. And, and, yeah, so, so 2023 regs, which means you can keep four regs. Do the, the big question is, do the game wardens know this? Yeah. <laughs> you would hope, right? But you, you yeah. know how that goes. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Captain Brian Willie, sure appreciate that very much, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. Sounds great, guys. Have a good time today. We'll talk to you then. Thanks, right. Willie. I'll bet somebody's going to catch a bluefin up there. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome news. <laughs> for sure. How cool is that? Yeah. I get you a little fired up? Uh, yeah. yeah, just a little. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, uh, Nick from Temecula is going to step up to the mic first here this morning, have a chance to win that pair of Costa sunglasses and that $50 gift certificate to Point Loma Seafoods. Thanks for joining us here at Day at the Docks, Nick. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Me. Looking around and seeing all these great rod combos around here. My question is, what rod would you pair with a Fathom 300? Okay, Doug. Ooh, yeah. We low, have the master here. So are, you're talking about the low-profile bass reel style, yes, right? Um, so it depends on the style of fishing you're going to be doing. It could be bay bass. It could be calicos. It could be even you know smaller offshore yellowtail and tuna. Um, but in general... Uh, you want to go with something that's like a seven and a half foot that gives you a little extra castability. Could even go to eight foot. Um, something fairly quick taper. Terramar makes their their inshore series, um, which I I really like, like a medium heavy uh, into the seven and a half foot. They even make them up to eight foot. Um, you know, if it's going to be more bay style fishing, you'd probably go down. You you know, we'll probably use the same thing because you're going to be casting five inch swim baits at that point. Um, so like a seven and a half Terramar, medium heavy. Um, the guys in the store can pull them down, let you pull on them. Um, there's also a lot of Phoenix rods uh, that are in that freshwater to inshore saltwater realm. And again, um, I would recommend uh, you're already here. Go into the shop and have the guys pull on you know two or three or four rods uh, and see which one uh, kind of you know fits what your situation is you know but all purpose from bay to even offshore catching a you know a, a 10 pound yellowtail a, a 15 pound yellowfin a dorado that kind of thing um i would stick with that uh you know the heavy for offshore could also come into play you can probably put 50 pound spectra on there or something like that so you you can land a, a larger fish on that reel Gotcha. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. Appreciate that very much. I have a. You have a good text there, Rick. I, I thought so. It's from yeah. John in Rancho San Diego. It says I love day at the docks, and I'm headed down there shortly. I have a question for Doug. If you had to pick out one killer deal that I cannot miss, what would it be? Also, are there any deals on MC swim baits? Yes, and yes. Um, you know, today is the day to load up on the stuff you're going to use all summer long. So, to try and define one deal would be difficult, but. Uh, what a lot of people are loading up on is definitely the fluorocarbon. You're going to use fluorocarbon all summer long. It's buy two, get one free, every brand. And so a lot of guys would buy, you know, from like 20-pound test up to 60-pound test. Uh, and, you know, so you've got your main sizes there. But we've got also stuff up to 200 and even 3- and 400-pound tests. So for the bigger bluefin, that 200 is a real popular size. Um, so I would load up on whatever you're going to use this summer. I mean, that's 33% off. You don't, it, you know, it doesn't sound as compelling when you say buy two, get one free, but it's 33% off on a commodity item that you're going to use all summer long. And that goes the same for your hooks and your jigs. All hooks and jigs, buy two, get one free. So MC swim baits. If you buy 60, you take home 90. I mean, you can load wow. up for the entire season. Your trip you're going to, to Cedro Cedros. Sport Fishing? Yeah. Exactly. Which, by the way, our July trip just got 
it's been sold out for months. Just had three openings. No way, really? So if you want to go in, yeah, in July to St. Louis Sport Fishing. So call Rosie and uh, get down there and uh, grab one of those spots if you can. Yep. And so, again, to to answer that question, there's not one compelling deal that you would say this is the deal of the show. Maybe Berkeley Rods. Well, I mean, if you're in the need for an inshore rod that's normally $59.95, uh, seven foot Berkeley medium heavy, uh, you know, inshore style bay bass light calico rod, they're, they're $29.95. Guys are buying those kind of by the multiples. Get one for everybody in the family. That's a $70, $70 rod. Yeah, that's $29.95. Yeah, that is a, a crazy deal, and it's a it's a legit viable rod. When we were going to buy that closeout, I called Justin Poe, who was, you know, for years the rod guy at uh, Shimano and and has endless experience in Southern California. And, and I said, hey, is this a legit rod? And he went back in the back room and found one. He said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buy these. Yeah, get these. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Well, great. Hey, let's continue our catch report. We got the man, Gundy Gunderson, the surf guru, standing by. What's up, Gundy? Hey, guys. What's going on? Having a great hey, time today at, at the docks. At the dock. Yeah, wishing oh, you were yeah. here, buddy. Talking tackle, springtime. You know, I don't, I don't have a great report this week. You know, all those st- storms that rolled through all winter long never really affected the water temp. And then this last, this one last week, dumped the water temps. You know, one to three degrees probably. There's still some sixty degree water off of San Diego. So I wouldn't I wouldn't fret too much because we've got a really nice uh weather forecast. We've got some excellent strong tides and then the tenth is the first grunion run, you know, solid we've had one before this, but this is when it starts getting solid and we're seeing some halibut start to move outside the surf line. So all good signs and it's just a matter of a little stretch of good weather. Hook line sink reported post storm conditions, a little cooler water. Uh there were some catches made, however, the perch bite was decent with fish to twelve inches taking lugworms and mussels, some of those western beaches like Gaviota, Fish and Best. There were also some halibut catches and and outside the surf line tended to be the best. They were doing it with the hard jerk baits. They had fish to twenty eight inches. No sign of those striped bass this week, but coming with the new moon we we might see those fish pop up again. They were in the South Bay, just fishing reported several striped bass taken off South Bay Beach is fish to six pounds, El Segundo, Hermosa, uh, Torrent, so they're spread pretty good. Same thing outside the surf line there, swim baits and flukes getting bites. And Pacific Coast reported some challenging conditions, but still some 60-degree uh, water around, and the best bet was the halibut bite. Uh, the guys who did well this week for fishing outside the surf line, and it's probably a function of, of some staging grunion or whatever, but uh, paddle boarders, kayakers made some scores. Uh, several fish in the mid-30s, and I think top fish was 36 inches taken on a crocodile near Ponto. So uh, not a great report this week, but it's setting up for some really good fishing. That sounds really yeah, no good. Doubt. Yeah, great stuff, man. Uh, thanks, Gundy. Appreciate that. This week should be a banner one for sure. All right. Good show, guys. I love it. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, Gundy. Thanks, Gundy. Appreciate it. That's going to wrap up our catch for today. Hey, springtime is here, and, boy, it kind of looks like a summer day, the Woo! way the weather's shaping up today. It's time to get your gear ready for the summer season. Check out surffishtackle.com for all the newest in surf fishing gear and fishthesurf.com. It will help you make a better angler on the beach. Yeah, for sure. And uh, uh, Mike from San Diego is here. Mike, you still hanging around? Hey, Mike, thanks for joining us here at Day at the Docks. Uh, step up that night and win a pair of Costa sunglasses or a $50 gift certificate to go have lunch at Point Loma Seafoods. <laughs> Sounds good. Morning, gents. Uh, Mike? Morning. You know, first I'd like to say is... Uh, you know, I really enjoy the show, and every time I listen, I learn something new. You know, even as, as, <laughs> Thank as long you. as you've been out, many years I've been out fishing, every time I hear something new. But uh, speaking of Cedros Island, I'm signed up for the July trip. Oh, All fantastic. Right. And my question was, surface irons for Cedros, what size or what, you know, type do you use down there? 
you know, all your typical surface irons are going to be effective there. So just, you know, start with some of the bigger ones, um, the Salus 7X, uh, the JRIs, um, and, uh, you know, the Taddies. And then I don't know if you're familiar with the new two fish jigs that have just come out and, uh, they, ca- they have, a uh, you know, um, sandcast style jigs. They have, uh, um, <laughs> CNC, the CNC machine jigs. Um, and those are like some of the top swimming jigs and, uh, just take a variety. I mean, obviously everybody likes the mint color, which is a very effective color, but take your blue and white, your mint and your scrambled egg, and you'll have like all the bases covered bait fish and, and squid looking jigs. Um, and, uh, then, you know, take your nine foot rod, you, pr- you know, if you have a 10 foot rod, that's great. But down there, you know, it's, it's effective to have at least a nine foot rod, um, or a 10 if you've got it. And then 40 pound or even 50 pound triple X on there. Um, I prefer the mono over straight spectra, but you can use straight spectra if you want. Uh, a lot of times I find that the, the hook pulls out of the fish when you get that violent uh, bite with no stretch. But um, And again, like I told the previous uh, guy that came up to the mic, go into the shop, let the guys show you the new two fish jigs, and check out the old standards, the Taddy 45, uh, the JRIs, the Salus jigs, and um, just take a little assortment. Um, there will be times when the fish want a little smaller jig, uh, a little fa- a bigger jig, a little faster retrieve, a little slower retrieve. So a variety is a good thing. A, a pointy nose jig will swim faster than a flat nose jig typically. Um, so just take a little variety with you. And you know you're fishing bigger fish near the kelp. Um, you might lose a jig or two. So just have a, a couple of backups there for you know the, the popular ones that you're going to use. Yeah, all buy st- two get one free, right? Uh, I was going to say buy two get one free on all the stuff you do for Cedros. Uh, MC swim baits are buy two get one free. Yeah. Lead heads are two get one free. Hooks for two get one free. Sabiki rigs are two get one free. Fluorocarbon two. You know what I mean? Like so all the way across the board. And if you know any friends that want to go, that spot's just opened up. So yeah, three spots on a trip that sold out all year. That's pretty yeah, slick. No, and you get to go with Tommy P. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot for coming down. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, when we come back, we got a whole lot more. Let's talk hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls. More great information. Another full hour here live at Day of the Dock. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. 24 years ago, I visited this amazing place called Haida Gwaii, Archipelago. I just could not get enough of these amazing islands, natural beauty, friendly people, and phenomenal fishing. I knew I had to spend more time there. Moving forward to today, here I am, a fishing lodge owner. Hi, this is Valerie Hilbridge from Queen Charlotte Safaris in beautiful Haida Gwaii Islands, British Columbia, Canada. We are a boutique lodge just steps from the Sand Strait Harbor, offering a true Truly unique fishing adventure. Our fishing is world class. You will fish for king salmon, halibut, lingcod, and much more. Our fishing grounds are untouched, unspoiled, and surrounded by stunning scenery. We are dedicated to making your adventure an experience that will be a lifetime of memories. We will welcome you as friends, and you will leave as part of the Queen Charlotte Safaris family. You will come for the fishing, and you'll come back for the memories. We are booking now. Please give me a call at 1-877-815-2892, or check us out on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, or website, qcsafaris.com. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. 
travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. This is Captain Art Taylor from Searcher Sport Fishing. Your hook is one of the most important links to catching fish. And at Searcher Sport Fishing, we use and recommend Gamagatsu hooks. The Gamagatsu Nautilus hook is best for tuna. And now with a variety of sizes all the way down to size 4, Gamagatsu hooks are the ones to use. It's important to be prepared with the right tackle when you come aboard Searcher, so that should include Gamagatsu hooks. Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Apco Filet Knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco Filet knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool that gets the job done season after season. Filet knives from Aftco. Any fish, any water. 